الحمد للہ و صلاۃ وسلام علی نبی محمد وعلى علی و صحبہ وسلم اما بعد حبت فی اللہ ان صحیحین بخاری و مسلم It was reported from Ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu that he said Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said When one of you dies He is shown his seat in the morning and the evening If he is from the people of paradise He has shown a seat from the people of paradise. And if he is from the people of the hellfire, he has shown one of their seats. It will be said to him, this is your seat until Allah resurrects you on the day of judgment. Ahabatifillah. Not one of us wants to experience the hellfire. And not one of us can withstand the punishment of the hellfire and the punishment of the grave. And that's why being cognizant of death, cognizant of what you do in this life conscious about the deeds and the actions that you're performing in this life and reflective about the hereafter it's a warning for us because it's too late if you're shown your position of where you're going to be and where your seat is it's too late and this is why upon the mu'min that they're realizing that death awaits us and as the salaf used to say a dunya dar al-amal wal akhira Dar al-Jaza That this life Is the time for doing good deeds And the hereafter Is the time for reaping the rewards of those good deeds Reaping the rewards of the good deeds Or if you were doing evil That's when you'll get your reward Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may give you Spite for a time He may give you a time Will you continue to do disobedience to him? And you think that you're getting away. Or you think that you're eventually going to make toba. And then it may be too late. You may get caught by death. And you have no chance and no opportunity to make toba to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is why this hadith, as well as the countless others... our warnings for the believers to be conscious and cognizant of what they do in this life are they doing good are they doing evil are they coming closer to allah are they coming are going drifting further away are they on the siratullah al mustaqim or are they on the siratul jahannam wa iyadhan billah May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all to do what pleases Him and avoid those things which displease Him. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.